Pick a line, any line, and you'll see a few get first in line. Whether it's practicing law when blacks couldn't, to opening up a woman-owned shoe store when women, women wouldn't, to an amazing America in building a billion-dollar business. I mean, this family has so many education degrees behind their names, it looks like a weather chart. Russell Fugit is the next one in line to chart success for the rest. Little Russ had no choice but to be a success. His role models, mom and dad, said education was key and to use that key to open doors for others. You know, growing up understanding business and entrepreneurship was certainly always a theme. The man could have a theme song here in Baltimore. He's been called a serial entrepreneur. He collects more hardware than your Home Depot and has now set up an equity endowment. We want to focus on new business creation and helping to train and equip more entrepreneurs and create more access to capital for entrepreneurs and to be able to grow their businesses. Russell is married to a love that he found online. They have two beautiful daughters. They met at Sabatino's. He wants to make it his business that families of color are taking care of in their business. My grandmother always taught us that we live in an ownership society. So certainly access to capital has always been a barrier for people of color in America to have ownership. I mean, this family's incredible. Dad Gene, an all-time great at Cardinal Gibbons. Before the NFL, he was an intern at Amherst, where he helped crunch the stats for Earl Weaver to use to win ball games with the Orioles. And ironic, his daughter Audie would marry Oriole great Adam Jones. It comes full circle, but Russell just wants to level the playing field. We really want to inject millions of dollars into our economy, right? So we want to do that by getting money to diverse fund managers that tend to invest in minority businesses and minority communities. And just like his uncle Reg, as in Reginald F. Lewis, who built America's first billion dollar black owned business, Russell knows what it takes at the corner of philanthropy and finance. I'm really blessed to have a vision for this and have the support of my family and I'm excited for what's ahead. And the first grant is set to go to the Baltimore Urban League for the Haysbert Center for Entrepreneurship. That's an incredible effort by Russell and the Fugit family.